Good afternoon and welcome back to another vlog. My intro, I didn't really record anything this morning so I kind of had to improvise with my intro a little bit. Um, so I showed you guys clips of like later on in the day. But today I wanted to show you guys how I get ready in the morning. Today's Friday and it's a really rainy day so I'm going to be putting my hair up in a bun again. I fell asleep with my hair looking like this, really crazy. So today's just going to be a bun day. I don't want to refresh my curls. I'm going to wash them tonight anyways so I want to show you guys how I do like my high bun because I feel like every time I'm wearing a bun you guys always ask me how do I do my buns and stuff like that so I figured I'm gonna do a bun today let me just show you guys that and I also will just show you guys my everyday makeup routine for when I have breakouts so I got you we're gonna do that okay so I'm starting off with my water bottle and I get this water bottle from Sally Beauty or from Amazon I do have one linked in my Amazon store in case you guys want to purchase it sometimes if I'm too lazy to refill my water bottle I'll literally just use mousse I use the can't Two wave whip curling mousse this is what it looks like I actually need to restock because I literally have like nothing left but if you're feeling lazy and you don't want to go refill your water bottle a mousse is wet in texture so it also like works just as fine but I have water today so I'm gonna use water so I always start off by literally generously saturating the front of my hair so that I can slick it back as much as I can and since my hair is feeling a little bit dry today I'm gonna use the suave moisturizing curl conditioner and this is what it looks like I love their suave these suave products by the way they're actually really good so I'm gonna take a little bit mind you I am washing my hair today so I wouldn't really put conditioner on a normal day basis if I'm not gonna wash my hair but since I am I'm gonna just put some so that my hair is actually getting already a head start for wash day today I'm not gonna touch the back Actually, I might put a little bit, just a little bit of condition in the back because it's really frizzy. And I like my curls to be defined even if it's in a bun. I still like my curls to look really nice. So, I'm so sad because I ran out of Eco Styler Gel. I'm going to go to Sally Beauty today and try to restock and pick some more up because I do not have Eco Styler Gel. So, to actually slick my hair in place in replacement of that, I'm using the Inspired by May Beautiful Curly Temple Balm. So, it's just basically like an edge control, but I really like this one because it really does help slick all of my hair. So, I'm going to take some of this, a generous amount kind of just warm it up a little bit in my hand and then we're gonna start slicking the bun I try not to do buns that much because I do my buns a little bit on the tighter side which is not the best for my edges so I try not to do buns a lot and if I do a bun I don't wear it for a long period of time so I'm taking this little edge brush that I've had for a while um it's a little crusty actually but it still does the job I got this from like the local beauty supply store and using an actual brush will probably speed up this process but I don't really ever use a brush now that my base is looking good I kind of just take the brush again to get rid of any little bumps that might have formed and I started to pick up my hair and move it around so I have the majority of my hair in my hand I don't use a regular hair tie because I have way too much hair and it will break I've broken endless scrunchies so I just use a headband you can find these at, at like Walmart Target or anything like that and I fold it in two and then I just take it and then I do it three times typically because at the second time my bun is still not really holding into place so this is an okay bun, but I'm going to try to do it again just because I feel like I could get a better bun. So let me try to do it again. Okay, so this is my second bun that I did, and I don't use any bobby pins typically. It's like kind of sideways, right? Okay, there I think it's like straight. I feel like I've kind of gotten the hang of buns, so I usually don't need any bobby pin. But whenever there's a lot of hair sticking out, you can either choose to wrap it around your bun and you won't need to use a bobby pin. You see, kind of that just like hit it. But I like the messy look and then I'm going to lay out my edges and it's going to look really nice. So I typically don't mind kind of like the curl sticking out, but if it's too much, I'll just wrap it around the bun and I don't need any bobby pin. Now my favorite part. I mean, you can leave the bun like this, but I feel like it needs a little bit more personality. You gotta bring out some baby hairs, you know, get creative with it. So bun is looking good. This is how it's gonna stay. And I'm gonna go ahead and lay my edges really quickly, which is my favorite part. I'm using the Cream of Nature Coconut Milk Shine and Hold Control Glue. And I love this one because uh, especially today, it's a rainy day and this will definitely hold your edges in place all day. Like your edges will not move. I'm gonna use this to just tame them in place. So 
my hair is pretty much done like this is typically how you guys see me on the vlogs when I'm just vlogging and chilling and not doing like a hair video I also do braids but I don't really I don't feel like you guys have seen me do braids much on camera which I do want to do because I did two braids the other day and a lot of you guys were asking me to post that so I will like to do that in a vlog since we are here I wanted to show you guys also my everyday makeup routine so I wanted to show you guys my makeup routine that I do when my skin is breaking out and when I kind of want to just cover it I mean now that we have face mask you can cover it and you're fine but I still like the little extra cover I have been going makeup free a lot more ever since quarantine I really only put makeup on when I'm filming a, a makeup tutorial but typically day-to-day -day basis just running errands I won't wear makeup but then other days if I'm in a mood where I just want to feel good or just I want to put some makeup on I do put makeup on oh my god wait I want to show you guys something I'm back I wanted to change my earrings because I want to wear these earrings today and then I also wanted to show you guys my little new 30-day challenge for the month of October and like mid-November so I got this water off of Amazon I will link it in the description box below now I had a gallon like this but in clear it just didn't have a straw and for some reason I found this one with a straw and I was like this is exactly what I need and this is what's gonna keep me motivated to drink water because it has a straw I am starting a 30-day challenge of only drinking water now this is a gallon of water I'm challenging myself to drink a gallon of water but I know if you are drinking a gallon of water you have to be more active to burn out that extra water and like sweat it out so that your body doesn't retain all of that water weight so that's something that I do want to also incorporate for the next 30 days just to see what happens right my skin has been kind of like bugging out I want to go back to drinking my gallon of water a day because I saw so many benefits so I'm sharing that with you guys because I want you guys to join me if you want to no coffee no juice or anything like that just water for the next 30 days and let's just see what happens let's see if our skin starts glowing maybe we'll lose some weight I don't know okay so let's go ahead and get started so I have been doing this little trick where I use edge control for my eyebrows because these curly brows I think I mentioned it on a vlog already and if I didn't I'm gonna mention it again because I don't know if I did but I'm using edge control on my brows to keep them in place this is the kiss edge fixture glued max hold the pineapple scent and this one smells so 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 good but it's max hold so it really does help just keep my brows in place all day these curly brows like I said they have a mind of their own and they kind of just like to go everywhere so I have been using edge control to just kind of help keep them in place and so I put it first thing before like filling in my brows because I noticed that when I do this I don't overfill my brows I kind of just go with the grain of the brow and kind of just fill in the spots versus drawing on a whole new brow you know <music> brows are done Ew, I think I just like put some boogers gross anyways but the brows are done I'm gonna show you guys what I use I typically use the same thing before I would use a brow pencil but I noticed that with a brow pencil and the edge control it doesn't mix so I need to use a pommy I'm going back to my Milani dark brown stay put brow and I love this one I used to use it all the time before I went over to two pencil so I use that and then I'm still using of course the Urban Decay brow blade this is actually a brand new one because I've already gone through like three or four of these I love this just literally for the front of my hair and like any little gaps it just makes it look really nice and like natural not too too harsh so I've been doing that and that's literally how I do my brows now we move on to makeup I already moisturized my skin I did all that good stuff with the skin I really love the elf poreless putty primer it's super affordable and you can find that at Walmart Target any of those stores definitely Ulta as well and I love this one because it does help conceal my pores now I do always in the morning I roll my face either with an actual ice cube or with an ice roller that I got on Amazon I will link it down below because it is a must-have for me just to help you know one deep puff my face because in the morning we all wake up super puffy and then two to kind of minimize those pores so that it doesn't look like you can't see your pores and then using this on top of that it's practically seamless <laughs> 
primer is done moving on to foundation I need to get a new foundation bottle because this one the tapa just came off and I haven't been able to like find it or replace it or fix it but I just want to finish it because I really do love this foundation this is the NYX can't stop won't stop full coverage foundation and I'm in the shade golden this is literally my perfect match and this just literally covers everything it covers up all of my dark circles it covers i mean i don't really put foundation under my eyes because i'm gonna put concealer but it covers up all of like my little acne scars and it's my perfect match <laughs> All right, foundation is on I have not touched my eyes if you notice because I don't want to pack on too much products on my eyes that's not necessary so I have been loving and I've been using you guys probably see it on every single tutorial when I do on Instagram the elf camouflage concealer I just love that concealer it's so good but I'm running out so I'm gonna switch it up today and I'm gonna use I'm gonna kind of mix the Too Faced Born This Way the multi-use coat sculpting concealer with the L'Oreal inflammable full wear concealer the reason why I'm doing that is because this shade is really really light for me and this one is a little bit not as bright as I like it so mixing these two together give me the perfect amount of coverage so Concealer is on. We are looking alive and awake. That's literally my favorite part of doing my makeup is when I put concealer on because that's when I like come alive. I love concealer. So I'm going to go ahead and set my face with the, of course, the classic, the OG Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder right here. Here. I don't always use this one just because it's on the higher end side I usually like to preserve those for like events and stuff like that But since we haven't really been doing any of that I've been using it up. I always switch up my powders though. I love the fit me one by Maybelline I also love the air spun one. That one is also really good. I use that a lot So I'm gonna go ahead and just set my concealer We have visitors say hi guys Milo, say hi. Mio, oh my god, his, his personality is literally coming out. He's so passionate, so like fearless. He will do anything. He's just like unstoppable and little, he's a little feisty too. Like, I'm like, Mio, you better pack that up. For bronzer, I still love my Fenty Beauty Caramel Cutie. I love this one. I use it all the time. I mean, look at it. I already hit pan on it. I also like the ColourPop No Filter Sheer Pressed Powder. And I get the shade Dark. So I mix these two together for that super warm tone look. I'm not doing anything on my eyes today. I'm going to keep it just like this and kind of just load up the mascara. But I do like to go in with bronzer. <music> Moving on to highlight. This is the Milani Rose Glow Triple Highlight Palette. I always use the middle shade. It's my favorite gold shade. And I always do it under my brow bone, my nose, and my cheek. So my camera just died in the middle of me filming so I quickly just changed the battery but I did finish my makeup all I did was do mascara and for mascara I've been using the essence volume stylist mascara and this is what it looks like I also love the Lar the L'Oreal the L'Oreal lash paradise mascara as well but this one's more affordable I do like two coats of mascara so you can go through mascara pretty quickly and this one is just more affordable and I like how full it like let me take my glasses off I like how full it makes my lashes look so I really do like this one. And then for lip, I'm going to be wearing a mask so it's not like a big deal. But I always have like some kind of Fenty gloss on or like a NYX gloss. This one is the Fenty Beauty in the shade Hot Chocolate. This is just the mini size one. I just always keep it in my purse. This is like my everyday makeup routine that I do. I'm going to keep vlogging a little bit for the rest of the day. I know this video might be lengthy just because I did a tutorial for my hair and my makeup. So I know that's going to take some time. But I still want to vlog and just bring you guys along with our day today. I'm going to go to the post office send out some products that we bought for a Instagram follower and we're also going to just send out some Amazon return then we're gonna go downtown today to fix up our jewelry we have a couple necklaces and a couple bracelets that break or broke so we want to go get that fixed but I'll bring you guys along okay so here's like a little real-life moment like right before we were leaving I just like randomly had the urge to bake chocolate chip cookies so that's exactly what I'm doing <laughs> I am baking two cookies for us. Hi, Neil. Say like a little old man. 
You look like a little man. Oh, you look like a little... Oh, guys. I was telling you guys a little bit, but he has so much personality. Like, now he knows his name. So whenever he does something that he's not supposed to, we call him, we're like, Mio, what are you doing? And he just, like, goes crazy. He, like, he goes, and he, it's so funny. And he's exploring the house. He knows the layout of the house now, so he knows where to run and where to hide. It's pretty funny to watch. Right, Mio? Let's put you down. Let's put you down. Hey, little Mio. Mio, what's your Mio? Here are the chocolate chip cookies that we're making. Oh my god, I cannot wait. We're gonna take them. Yum. Oh, so, so, so good. Gonna let them cool off for a bit and then we're gonna take it on the go and head downtown. car check-in babe you didn't say hi today say hello aloha hey hey we got to get our bracelets fixed because i had a bracelet that was broken and an anklet that was broken and one of his necklaces snapped so uh, one of his chains one of his charms we've been holding on to like all of the jewelry that needs to be fixed so we can just get it all done at the same time so we did that oh let me share with you guys my little store the ride down here is pretty long it's like an hour and change to come all the way down to the city and so i fell asleep while editing and i woke up and i needed to use the bathroom so bad like so bad i couldn't hold it i'm drinking the gallon of water a day so like i have to pee like very often and so basically long story short we stopped at this like random spot it was kind of like a corporate building really fancy so i was like okay hopefully they can like let me use the bathroom the guy was basically like oh i'm so sorry like if you don't work here i can't let you in mind you i saw the sign of the restroom it said restrooms right there like literally right behind him and i was like can i just please use the bathroom like i really really need to use the bathroom like i'm only gonna be there for like five seconds like i'm gonna be in and out and then he was like oh no but if you don't work here like we can't i basically begged him for five minutes straight and he finally let me use the bathroom and everything was well but i've never begged so much in my life just to use the bathroom it was rough so that was my little story time of how i almost peed on myself my dad made us some lasagna yesterday yes no, today the, yeah the day before yesterday he made us some lasagna and i cannot wait to have it when i get home i'm gonna make some white rice and maduros and we're gonna eat the lasagna for dinner well tell him what i made you for breakfast this morning <laughs> just a little sign light you know tacos <laughs> no it's not a taco it wasn't a it taco is. it's like quesadillas it's like a chicken quesadilla oh it's ground turkey tell him how i made it it's good it like a taco like a folded over quesadilla but what was like inside original. Brown turkey. That's cheese. it. That's not boring. Brown turkey with cheese. Okay, let me explain to you guys how I made it because it was so good. I think I'm gonna make it tomorrow for like lunch and then I'll insert it in the intro of this video because I don't have an intro yet. So I'll show you guys how I make it because it was so good. I'm not even gonna describe it because you need to visually see it, but it's so good, so delicious. So I'm gonna make it tomorrow and I'm gonna show you guys in the intro. So you probably already saw how I made it.
it's actually much later on in the day. It is 11.30. Insane. I ended up doing almond shape, almond shape tips on my nails because I haven't done tips in so long. So it kind of took me about two hours to do, two hours and a half. It took me a while because it's been a while since I did it. But I just did this like really pretty nude color, which I think came out so pretty, especially since I haven't done tips in so long. I still want to perfect my tips like me doing tips before doing like an actual video on my nail page so I still want to practice a little bit more I took a break from them this summer but I'm back to doing tips and I just want to perfect my skills before actually filming it and sharing it with you guys but I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hair and probably just watch a movie or something really quickly though I wanted to show you guys how excited Mio gets when I give him his high calorie little medicine type of thing so I'm gonna show you guys because it's literally the cutest thing someone is still very very sleepy he was taking a nap. As soon as I come over here, he already knows. Come, Mio. You ready? Come. Let's give you your medicine. Mio. So I put a little bit on my finger, and then I give it to him. He gets so excited. I usually give it to him in this corner, but the butt is in the way. Are you guys so excited? Do you like it? Milo did not like this thing, and Mio loves it. It's a little high-calorie nutritional gel that we gave the pup. Milo didn't like it, but Mio apparently loves it. Milo, did you say hi today? Hello, are you chilling in here? Are you chilling, handsome boy? Like he came back to make sure that there was nothing else. I can't see you. Look at him. I'm about to go bother his brother. You saying hi to brother? Look at Milo. He's like, don't get too close. <laughs> Milo does not like him to be super close. Mio, come here. That's not your bed. This is Milo's bed. Look, Milo's like, boy. And then Mio can't go down the stairs yet. So Milo's like, I'm out of here. 